All right, welcome to our first lesson. This one is on adding and subtracting equations. So this one's gonna focus on solving one-step equations, but we're gonna focus on just adding and subtracting for today. So you should have your notes page ready to go in your notes packet. Um, we're on the page that says solving one and two-step equations. And we're gonna start by filling in our three steps. So here are our rules or our steps for solving an equation. Number one, Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. So we've got to keep it balanced. You've got to treat both sides the same. Step two, undo the equations with opposite, or sometimes we're going to use the word inverse, operations. And then number three, you must show your work on both sides of the equal sign and check your solution. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. But pause if you need to. Get this written down, and then we're going to put some of this to use. All right, so since this one is focusing on the adding and subtracting, um, we're just going to do these three problems on that first page. We're going to focus on the ones that are adding and subtracting. We'll come back to the multiplying and dividing on Monday of next week. So here, focus on the first one. W plus 8 is equal to 13. So my first step is I always like to draw a line down through my equal sign. It's not necessary, but it's a good idea because it reminds you that there are two sides to this equation, so we need to treat both sides equally. Then, in order to solve it, remember our goal is to get the variable by itself. We want to know what just W is. Well, to do that, we need to get rid of whatever happened to the W. In this case, they've added 8. So to solve an equation, we want to do the opposite of whatever they did. So if they added 8, I want to subtract 8. Adding and subtracting are opposite or inverse operations. They undo each other. But remember one of our rules. You have to treat both sides of the equal sign the same. So if I subtract 8 on one side, I have to subtract 8 on the other side. Adding 8 and subtracting 8 are opposites, they cancel each other out. Think of it as they kind of turn into a zero. I give you eight of something and then I take it right back. So now you're back to nothing. So all I'm left with is W. On the other side, I just do the problem. 13 minus eight is five. Okay. When I'm done, I always want to go back and do a check. Did I do this problem correctly? And the way that I do it is I go back to the original problem, the original equation, but instead of the variable, I put in my answer. I plug in 5 in place of w. Well, 5 plus 8 really is 13. That's what I wanted, so I know I'm good. So next one, negative 9 is equal to y minus 6. So I'm going to start by drawing that line down through my equal sign. And I always want to focus on the side where the variable is. So what did they do to y? Well, they subtracted away 6. So to solve an equation, I want to do the opposite. I want to undo it. The opposite of subtracting 6 is to add 6. But I've got to do that to both sides in order to keep my equation balanced. Here, subtracting 6 and adding 6 cancel each other out. They turn into 0. So I'm just left with y, and then on the other side, I do the math. Negative 9 plus 6, different signs subtract, and take the sign of the bigger number. Here, if I want to do a check, I'm going to plug in negative 3 in place of y. So negative 3 minus 6. Well, negative and the subtracting don't get along, so I'm going to change it into adding the opposite. Negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. That's what I wanted, so I know I did it correctly. All right, one more here on this page. Let me scroll down here. So 7 plus x is equal to negative 8. So again, I'm going to draw my line down through my equal sign. And then I'm always going to focus on the side where my variable is. In this case, what did they do to x? Well, they added 7. For some of you, you might find it's easier to rewrite this. Remember, if it's addition, we can flip it around and you can write it as x plus 7 if it helps you identify what's happening to it a little bit easier. But here they're adding 7. So to solve it, I want to do the opposite. I want to undo that, 
which is to subtract 7. I always like to write the subtracting part underneath of the number that I'm trying to eliminate rather than always right next to the equal sign just because it helps me lining things up so I can see that, oh, adding 7 and subtracting 7 cancel each other out. So I'm left with x. But I want you to put a little star next to this problem because this is one that you're really going to have to watch for. I have negative 8 minus 7. Well, if you remember in our check from that previous problem, subtracting and negatives do not get along. It's very easy for us to make a calculation mistake. So in this case, instead of leaving it as subtraction, I'm going to change it into adding the opposite, just like we did in our whole integers unit. Subtracting can very easily be written as adding the opposite, and now we can go ahead and tackle the problem. Negative 8 plus negative 7 is negative 15. Then we do a quick check. We plug our negative 15 back in place of x. So 7 plus negative 15. Well, they have different signs, so I'm going to subtract. 15 minus 7 is 8, and I'm going to take the sign of the higher number as negative 8. That's what I wanted for my answer, so I know I did it correctly. All right, hopefully that's starting to make a little bit of sense for us. Here's what I want you to do next. So in your notes page, I want you to flip to the back of this page. The back of the page should be blank. And I want you to copy down these three problems. Okay. Then I want you to hit pause in the video and I want you to try solving these three for yourself. Then when you're ready, hit play and then you can watch me as I'm solving them. All right, so hopefully you took a chance to try solving these for yourself. Now I'm going to work my way through solving them and see how you match up with mine. Remember, you've got to show all of this work, including the check, every single time. There's no shortcuts on this. So I'm going to draw my line down through the equal sign. I'm going to focus on the x, x minus 5. So they're subtracting 5 from x. So I want to do the opposite, which is to add 5. But in order for my equation to stay balanced, I've got to treat both sides equally. Subtracting 5 and adding 5 cancel each other out. And I'm just left with x. 16 plus 5 is 21. And then I can do a quick check. I'm going to put 21 in place of x. 21 minus 5 really is 16. That's what I wanted. So I know I did it correctly. Next one. This one's a little tricky because some people are going to have a hard time focusing on what they need to attack. But remember, always focus on the variable. What's happening to the variable? Well, in this case, x is we're adding 25 to our x. Well, the opposite of adding 25 is subtracting 25. So I'm going to do that. But I've got to treat both sides equally in order to make sure that it's done correctly. Adding 25 and subtracting 25 cancel each other out. And I'm just left with x. 40 minus 25 is 15. To do my check, I'm going to put 15 in place of x. And I'm going to do the problem. 25 plus 15 really is 40. So I know I did it correctly. All right. Last one. I'm going to draw my line down through my equal sign. Here, x is, I'm subtracting 32 from x, so I'm going to do the opposite, which is to add that 32 back. So I'm going to add 32. Subtracting 32 and adding 32 cancel each other out. It becomes a 0. So I'm left with x. That's always what we want. We're trying to get that variable by itself. And then 10 plus 32 is 42. A quick check. Put 42 back in place of x. 42 minus 32, well, that is 10. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so upload a picture of your notes to the assignment, and you are good to go.